of wax cut into triangles or little strips with little points at the bottom. And what we do it's here, zigzag. To, or zigzag, yeah, it's all illustrated in your notes with it. What you do then, you go along to the colony where your um, queen is that you want to breed from. You take a, a food frame out or something out the end so you can make a gap in the middle where the brood is and you put in this just this frame with these foundation with the zigzag cuts in in the middle now that's what we've done here and you need to do that at least um, <clears throat> four days before you intend to do the next stage of the operation because the ideal is the bees are then going to pull that out and uh, your bees are amazed at how quick they do it and you think well i left i left gaps there uh, they fill it all in and because it's a nice new frame in the middle of the brood chamber, the queen then uh, occupies it and lays in it. Now, uh, what we've done here, though, just to make to be sure, because sure, we wanted you to see it, is we've actually put her in a queen cage. In a frame case, frame so cage. she ain't got no option <laughs> other than laying in it. So we we know where we're going to get. So we're going to take that out now. As you can see, these are really nice template bees. <laughs> <laughs> Now, excuse the roof. Because it's only a temporary one. <laughs> now, this was a, a nuclei of bees, really, wasn't it? This is a wonderful colony. You can get in a full colony. Better in the nuclei. Well, you haven't quite got, got too many to do with it. Right. <laughs> Filled that up, didn't they? Yeah. So in there is the queen. <laughs> yeah, this can be used as part of your work. If you want it to. I mean, there is a technique using it for that. That's what it's designed for. But... It's a brush. Yeah. It's called a queen cage. This is great. a frame cage. Yeah. A frame cage. Yeah. And and you can enclose. Well, the, the workers can go in and out, you see, but the queen yeah, can't. Yeah. Now, be careful at this point. Don't shake any of this stuff, um, uh, because you, you don't want to dislodge or don't hold it on the side, because you're, you're going to lose your, your comb and that. We don't want to do that, particularly. I'm going to actually brush them straight in the bottom here, okay, because we know the queen is actually on In there here. somewhere. You can use um, a handful of grass. Fairly dark, look. Else. Is your queen mark in here? Yeah, she's yeah. a mark queen. Well, she was when we put her in the box. <laughs> <laughs> How long have they been in here? Any back oh, here four days? Yeah, we, we, we caged her in because we wanted her just to be able to lay in this only. I mean, they will do it without this. Yeah. They certainly filled in a fair bit from your V cut, couldn't they? Well, they, they filled in a bit more. We've already really come back again, <laughs> you know, little tinkers. Yeah. <laughs> right, now we should be able to see that's in there. That's the foundation that's been in cut. Yeah, wireless then. If I yeah. put this yeah. back in here. Well, shall I should, should we get rid of the bees? Do you want to pass that round? Yeah. Don't, so don't hold it on its side, just hold it mm. upright. Because up right. it's got no reinforcing Please. or anything in it. Uh -huh. And it will fall out. But these are nice dose old bees, you see. This is what we want. Yeah, you can see the outline of the uh, bees. Mm. Still not trying to sting, are they? Even though we've yeah, got no, yeah. 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 the weather's nice too. Yeah, yeah. Helps. I guess there's a lot of them out. Yeah, yeah. There's many hours there are. But you've still got mm. very quite close of these. Right, yeah. So what are we looking for in this one? Well, you we see the original zigzag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I get. And you. then they filled in the rest. Yes, yeah, I get. Yeah. Are there any Thank eggs you. in there? I see. Can't see any. Yes, there are. <laughs> She's a noisy lot, really. She went on strike. As he obliged, that's it. <laughs> She's 
I shouldn't like being yeah. So that was originally one strip, two strips, three strips, four strips, five strips. With well, just strips, not... Yeah, just strips. Yeah. Oh, I see. You right. can In sort of vaguely feet. see the yeah. sort of through the yeah. sunlight, you can see yeah. where they were. Right, now yeah. the, next, the next job to do is to prepare this to get them to pull the queen cells out. You might find it's a bit more space. Is we've got to trim it back to its original V-shaped thing. So we're going to give them a lot of little edges to pull um, cells down. I can't see where it was. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I'm looking where the eggs are, and I'm going to cut in and just with a nice sharp kitchen knife. That's your best knife, is it? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's the one good thing about <laughs> being in charge of this. So, oh, right. what we've done is to trim back it to roughly where all the eggs are. Right. Now, you could just put that back into a Queen Miss Collins. Now, we'll talk about Queen Miss Collins in a minute. But if you did, you'd have the Queen cells all joined together. Oh. And that's darn difficult then, see. So, what you've got to do, have got, have got a matchstick? Cocktail sticks in the, in the white thingy. All ready. Oh my God. Yeah. You need to now go at these edges and destroy some of these these little eggs and cells, uh, eggs in the cells, so that you're going to leave a gap between where there's an egg and then two cells and another one. And then you'll get your queen cells spaced out then. You don't have to do it at this stage though. No, you, you can do it a you bit can later. Wait You can wait until they've started bit. drawing the queen cells. Oh, and, just get and, them. Then and then destroy, destroy the ones that you're you not going to want. But don't miss don't the miss, opportunity. Don't you, Otherwise you just you it. could end up with loads. Yeah, you'd have more. Yeah. So if yeah. you, you just sort of yes. take out words. And then you can't do anything with them. Well, do they develop, would they develop into queens anyway? Does that affect the actual queens? No, they will develop as queens. I've taken out two, left one there, two out. If you think you've got queen cells next to each other, well... And then one, one, you can't so cut them out to put them elsewhere. No, you can't protect them with anything. Then another one out there. Um, so so you, I go out the edges to, and do that. Sorry. You just, sorry. You just have to wait for a, a, a queen to come out, and then you know the chances are she'll go and nibble and kill yes. some of the others. Mm -hmm. So it would be a waste. Yeah. So there, there we go. So you, you, you got you can you can do that. You can select the best of the ones. Best probably when they're the larvae, isn't it?